Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. Today I'm going to have a really short video showing an important step because I had a Patrick moment. Dumb people are always blissfully unaware of how dumb they really are. I left out a real important step when it comes to laying out your rafters on your ridge board and we're going to cover that real quick. This is your ridge board right here and you want these rafters to fall in the right spot. The reason why when you put your sheet of plywood on here and it falls at four feet or at eight feet depending on the orientation of your plywood you want it to fall right in the middle of your rafter so your next piece goes on it too and you you don't have an open seam this is a three-quarter inch block and I'm gonna get into that in a second but I was supposed to clamp this block onto the edge of my board to give me the proper spacing you hook it onto that and it's easier for you to work with. Now a framer's not going to do that. He's not going to waste his time with a clamp and all because he knows every time he's going to drop it on that spot. <clears throat> you will take your speed square, set it down underneath that, get it to your mark at 16 inches and mark your line. Then you can slide it down to 32 inches and do the same and you'll follow it all the way down the line marking it like this. Now you make sure to put an X on the outside of your lines going away from this end right here because that is where your rafter is going to lay right on that line and this X is showing you that you go on this side of the line and not this side now when you take the tape and you put it on the edge of the board without having it pulled you can see you're at 15 and a quarter inches that's your first spacing after that everything's going to fall 16 inches so when I put my block right here and I put another one over here it's gonna fall right in this spot and you can see 16 inches is gonna be directly in the center here's another real important note and I didn't forget this one when you take your sheathing you wanna lay it from your first rafter that you put in back or if you started from the back you, you, you put your first sheathing on that because it's based on 16 inch centers from your first one well, I hope this helps to clarify things. If you haven't seen my previous video, you can check out the link right here, and that'll go to the videos prior to this one, so you can see step-by-step step how to do all this. All right, if you don't mind, drop a comment on me, hit like. I will see you on the next project, and don't forget to subscribe.